guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we will be revealing what is in the May Bella box. But first off, I'm going to give you a quick review of what was in the April Bella box and what I thought about it. So first off was the Shella Ivory Lace Highlighting Pencil. <sighs> this is horrible, but I really, really didn't like it. It didn't highlight at all. Maybe if you had really dark skin, it would be a good highlighter, but it just did not work for me. It was more like a concealing pencil than anything, and that's just not what it's specified as, so no. It wasn't for me, unfortunately. Um, the Patisse Tropical Dry Shampoo. I am back and forth on this. I do use their dry shampoo poos a little bit, however... They always leave a bit of a white cast because my hair is so dark, so it'll leave like grey looking hair colour and I just, it's not something I want to aim for. So it's good, it does get rid of the oiliness and it does make your hair look fresh, but I have to be really careful with how I use it, how much I use and things like that, otherwise it just leaves a white cast on my hair, just something that like I don't really want that at all. Then I got the two Avene Tolerance Extreme Creams and Cleansing Lotions. Um, they were pretty good, actually. They did make my skin feel quite nice. And um, they didn't irritate it or anything like that. I don't have sensitive skin at all. My skin is pretty happy. Every now and again, I get a few breakouts and things like that. But overall, my skin is fairly happy. Um, would I buy them? They're quite expensive. So I probably wouldn't, to be honest, but who knows, I might later down the track. I wouldn't rule it out, to be honest. And the Nutri Plus Barrier Hand Cream it was beautiful, but to me it was just a hand cream. I have lots of other hand creams I've received over time, and I, to me, there's not a whole lot of difference in them all. And some people might be like, oh my god, but you know, no, to me it was... If it moisturizes my hands, keeps them feeling nice, and they don't like just feel dry or oily or whatever, then it's a thumbs up for me. So would I buy it again if I found it on special or something like that? Absolutely, I might grab some, some chuck it in my handbag or something like that. But apart from that, probably not. Also got the Nutramedics um, Nutri Rich Hair Nourish Shampoo and Conditioner. Like I've said before, um, in one of my other Bella Box reviews, I my hair takes anything. Um, it's very happy hair. It doesn't do anything. Um, so it was good. It did make my hair feel nice. It smelled amazing. Would I purchase? Probably not. It's 50 mils. 50 mils is 58.95. I just find that way too expensive when my hair literally will is happy with any. So overall, I did find the April Bella box a little disappointing. Um, there just wasn't a whole lot in there that. I was super happy with and yeah, it wasn't my favourite Bella box by far. So this month, in our sneak preview, we got, we got told that we will be having a ColourPop, a full-size ColourPop lipstick. So I was super excited. So there's the lid. That's come off. Don't know why I had to tell you guys that, but I just thought I would. So this box is called their Future Proof Box. So that's that there. When I open this... I was so excited. I had a look and I was like, there's actually stuff in here that, I don't know, they just look useful. <laughs> all right, let's just jump into it because I know you're all keen. I'm going to be really mean and keep the ColourPop <laughs> one till last. So I've got the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. That's just that there. I've never used anything by Cetaphil, um, but yeah. Why not? Give it a go. It says it softens as it cleanses. Soap and fragrance free. So I'm really interested to try that. So that'll be awesome to give a go. Then I got two little samples from the La Roche Posay. One is their Imperfections Corrector, I'm guessing, and their Anti-Imperfections. So that's them there. Oh, so one has a sheer tint, so that's that one, and that's in um, tinted light, and that one's without the tint in it, from what I can gather. 
So this is going to unclog clog blocked pores and fight against redness and blemishes. Um, yeah, I'm always up for that. It is 40 mils for um, 29.95 for 40 mils. So interesting, but if it works and it got rid of my pimples and my clogged pores, wow, speak English. Um, then yeah, I would actually probably look at purchasing it again. Next up, we got this, which I'm actually really keen about. This is a full-size product, and it's the Elf Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer in Sun Kissed. So let's open this up, because I can give it a swatch for you guys. All right, so it's a little plastic container. Um, obviously, Elf is really inexpensive. So this is um, obviously five grams, and it only retails for six dollars. So it is really cheap. Um, let's have a look. Oh my god, that feels amazing! Oh, okay. All right, that is a beautiful color. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. Hopefully it does. That's just that there. Like, look at that. It's got a really shy, light sheen to it. That is just beautiful. I can't wait to give that a go because it's light enough that it could give me a bit of a glow without looking stupid. So I'm really keen to give that a go. I, That's exciting. <laughs> I've never tried... Um, many of their products. I've recently bought a e.l.f. blush and that was really buttery and amazing. So yeah, I'm super keen to try this one out. Um, the next thing in here is, oh my god, this feels like wicked, <laughs> is the Prep Bod Prep Original Rice Scrub and Soak. Ooh, so that's that. It literally has nothing <laughs> written on it. Um, it says, it's based on the historical traditions of Chinese medicine. Prep Bod brings you a super fine rice scrub that will see your skin looking brighter and feeling softer. Um, can be used as both a, both a bath soak or a unique exfoliant in the shower. So I'm really keen to give that a go. It feels... I don't know. It feels really weird. Really cool though. Alright. And then next up we have the... Oh, yes. I literally own this. So... I'm really excited. It is the Body Shop Tea Tree 3 in 1 Wash Scrub Mask. I love this. I love this. So I'm really happy to have received another little thing. I don't need it, but hey, why not? I know I'm going to use it and I know I'm going to love it. So I'm really happy with that. Overall, I have to say, this has been a really good box. So for the final reveal, I will show you what I got from ColourPop. It's their Ultra Satin Lip. Now, when I opened the box, I was like, oh my god, is that the colour? Because if that's the colour, when am I ever going to wear that? Like, So I was actually really nervous, but then I did have a sneak peek before I filmed. Because I was like, I don't know how I'm going to keep a straight face throughout this filming if I do this. And it's actually really lovely. So this is their Double Tap. So I'll give this a swatch for you guys. It's probably a little bit lighter than I'd usually wear. It's quite a... It's quite a... It's like an apricot-y pink colour. Um, I don't know, I'll definitely give it a go. Um, it seems to dry down a little bit, which I didn't think it would, being that it's supposed to be satin. But... I don't know, I'll give it a go. I've never tried any ColourPop cosmetics, so um, this would be really, really good to give it a go. Um, I have no idea how much this is listed for, the full size of one, but I think this box has been amazing. I really, really can't wait to try some of these products in this box. I cannot wait to give that e.l.f. bronzer a go. The ColourPop, can't wait to try that out on my lips. I usually like a bit of a darker lip, but hey, why not? I'm happy to jump outside the box. And so, yeah, try out that La Roche-Posay. That'll be really interesting. There's nothing in here that I can honestly say I don't like the look of straight away. So I'm really excited that these 
all look amazing. So yeah, I definitely think it was worth the $17.95 this month. Not mad at all. But anyway, before I sit here and ramble on forever, I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you did, could you please give it a thumbs up? That would really help me out. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do do a Facebook page as well. That'll be linked in the description box below. And I put up some makeup looks that I've been doing. And I'll try and get on there more to post more as well. If you have any suggestions for any videos, please let me know. I am more than happy to do any that you want me to do. Anyway, that's all for today. I'll see you in my next video or over on my Facebook page. Thanks and bye!